Max Dumsdy is a legend of Australian sprint car racing. Beside his name, you'll find seven World Series sprint car championship crowns, three Australian titles, three Warrnambool Classics, multiple Victorian, South Australian and New South Wales championships. Dumsey started his career on motorbikes and it was generally believed he would go on to a national career in scrambles. But fate intervened not far from his Warrnambool home and riding his motorcycle he struck a cow that had wandered onto the road. After recovering from serious injuries sustained in the crash, Dumsney decided the career on four wheels was probably a safer bet. Probably not the way that Max ever planned to go from two wheels to four wheels, but nevertheless we're glad he did go to four wheels and uh, achieved great success both here in Australia and overseas. His success in Formula 500s, winning several national titles, inspired Max to move into sprint cars for the 1983-84 season, and it didn't take him long to find his way into victory lane. Well, Max coming from Victoria was still not very well known in Sydney, but that all changed during the 1983-84 summer season when he scored his first big win at Parramatta City Raceway, the Wayne Fisher Memorial. In 1984, Max commenced his long-time partnership with Melbourne race car constructor John Sidney, driving his popular OTR-manufactured sprint car. The association with John Sidney later involved NASCAR. It was at this time he signed with Valvoline, and this partnership is still going strong, ranking as one of the longest-running corporate partnerships in the history of Australian motorsport. Well, what a great partnership, John Sidney and Max Dumsney. And what, what it did do, though, it opened the corporate door, the key to the corporate door for Max and the great sponsorship over the years from Valvoline. And it went from Speedway to NASCAR to touring car racing. In addition to racing for John Sidney, Max also linked with Sidney's Sid Moore and expanded his sprint car operation. It extended all the way to America where he was a sensation in 1985 with his first appearance at Iowa's world-famous Knoxville Nationals. Just as successful as he was with John Sidney, he struck up a very, very good combination with Sid Moore. And this, of course, in that era of the mid-80s, took Max to America. And in 1985, he scored his first major victory in America and he picked the prime race, the Knoxville Nationals, when he took out the race of states. Max Dumsney has made a mighty contribution to Australian motorsport. And today his company is the official Australian agent for the American Hoosier tyre brand. Max and his wife Melinda have four children and all have the competitive spirit that has made Max Dumsney a legend. Well, the Dumsney family, they've had plenty of successes and it will continue on, there's no doubt about that. Marcus recently took out the Australian Dirt Car Championship and of course Mitchell Dumsney is a multi-winner of the Sydney Sprint Car Track Championship. Max has made a magnificent contribution to Australian racing, not only sprint cars but other disciplines as well. Now entering well into the second half of his career but he's still competitive and has shown that on his night he can beat the best in the world.